pot. Mm -hmm. What? It's very original. Would you compare it to 2001? Well, it's not as thoughtful. Not as thoughtful. But it, uh, it uh, technically is much more interesting. You know, it's about the... This is Jerry reviewing Interstellar. Go ahead. It's about the Earth running out of uh, food. You know, first the wheat goes, then the rice goes, then finally the corn's going and they, get, they have to send somebody somewhere to find a place where they can settle the people on the Earth before mm -hmm. they all starve to death. Right. This is a scenario that perhaps could actually so happen. This mission, <laughs> this mission takes off. They sort of get halfway there, and one, one of the astronauts wants to go back and quit, and the other one doesn't, and they get in a fight. Why did he want to go back? I don't know. He's gotten tired of wandering around in space, not, not making any progress. Were there any women on the ship? Yeah. No, there's one woman. And, uh... Interstellar. Anywho, so he tries to get back after fighting the hero who's running the thing. And it doesn't work out. The, the vehicle going back, it's all bashed up. The hero wants to keep going? Yeah. Charlie, hero keeps going, wandering around out there. And the point is he doesn't age when you're out there. Yeah. One uh, hour is equivalent to ten years. Right. But you don't age ten years. Mm -hmm. So, finally, he figures things out. The hero? And he gets back to Earth. Well, well they did goes into a black hole, then he... He escapes from it. He heads back to Earth, and he tries to make contact with his ten-year-old daughter, who's now about a forty-year-old woman. So, and he's younger than her. <laughs> That's right. He was, a, he was a great scientist, and uh, does he end up marrying her? No. You can't get through to her, but he gets his watch to her. He has this watch that he. She knew he, he knew, she knew he had. And they were getting ready to leave, and she looks at the watch and she noticed it hardly changed any time. Wow. And that gives her the key to traveling in interstellar space. Uh, where it, she was working on right. Einstein's theories. Right. And she finds the way to go there. Uh. Because of the little thing with the watch triggered something. Yeah, it triggered. So it all ends up. There she is, an old woman, and they're out in a new settlement in space. In space. And along uh, with the hero? No. The hero has been wandering around, I don't know doing <laughs> what. And he's he's found by some rangers. Now this settlement sort of out in the wilderness running out of, uh, no, he was running out of, he was running out of oxygen. So uh, you see him in bed looking pretty good, and the doctor says, you're in pretty good shape for a 104 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> so then he decides to go out to another space settlement where this woman he was friendly with had settled. And it sort of ends there with him on his way out. Uh, uh, but the... Uh, so it's sort of a happy ending. Well, yeah. Because they were able to settle uh, in space. Yeah, they were able to settle, but boy, the way the Earth was going, with one crop at a time going out, and it was like the dust storms, like the 1920s. Mm. And they were always talking this high-class mathematics, you mm. know, relativity and, uh, and uh, 
all so, sorts of stuff like that. Nobody, I couldn't, nobody could figure out watching the thing. Uh. But it ran on for God, two and a half hours. Wow, a little too long. It's, it's still playing over here. At yeah, the, uh, yeah. Uptown. So it sounds like a provocative movie. Yeah, they, we saw it in 70 millimeter, you know. Uh, it's, right. It's enormous. You sit there. Yeah, and, yeah. You, know, you probably saw 2001 there years ago, I bet. Yeah. And we also saw all the old airplanes out there. Yeah. I saw the one I, I was learning to fly in at the age of 15. I was learning how to fly a Piper Cub. They mm -hmm. had one there. Wow. Then I was toward F-86 aircraft, the Sabre jet. Well, oh, now you switch. Now you switch to the that Dulles. I was in the squadron I was in when I was in the airport. You switched from interstellar to the Dulles exhibit, huh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you segued very smoothly. Well, I went to the exhibit first. Okay. And then I saw another aircraft. So no longer talking about interstellar. Yeah. Now talking well, about the air and space exhibit at Dulles. It's very good. Very good. Free? Oh no, well you, you pay for uh, the parking. Ah. And it's much expanded from when I was there last. Right. Yeah, but McDonald's was a huge place to eat. Is the subway go there yet? No, it Not doesn't yet. make it all the way. Okay. And uh, well you can get to Dulles and then take a bus. Right. And the uh, in the summer, they have these kids come through. Oh, and then we went to they had the the spaceship that they went out in a model of it hmm. under a tent. We went there, looked at it, and then we were sat with these goggles on in 4D. 4D. And wow. we were sort of going through the spaceship <laughs> up and down and through. We had to sign all two pages of releases in case you went nuts watching <laughs> or had a heart attack. <laughs> Or something or other. Finally, we ended up today with a great meal at a Turkish restaurant. <laughs> Very good. Very good.